awkward being thick at the gym because everyone just says like, how did you get the body? Oh yeah. And I don't want to admit to them that it was soldier. Oh, uh, I know. I, I get that. I like to pretend I got it in the gym. Oh, so you just lied to them? Oh, you don't? No, I owe you them, honestly. It was soldier. I went to Miami oh. for one weekend. And my whole vibe is like I, I don't need to tell the me. truth about myself to anyone. It's none of their business, you know? Do you lie to me? Oh no. It's none of your business, my actual truth. Oh, I forgot we're being filmed. My oh, name hey. is Jacob. The thick boy? My name is Lucas. The other thick boy. And a few years ago we made a cake, us thick boys, and I was like People love that. Like, mm -hmm. it had a big fan base, so I yeah. was like, Hi fans. Let's do a Thick Boys Make a Thick Cheesecake, because oh. I, was, I was trying to brainstorm stuff that makes you thick, and I was like, cheesecake. cheesecake. Oh yeah, it goes straight to your ass. Some no might say, hey, this is cheesecake. Oh. <laughs> Some people would say that. But yeah. By the end of this video, you're gonna know the recipe of a cheesecake that would rival Cheesecake Factory's entire dessert menu. AKA, I stole it online. We've never made cheesecake. But today we're gonna do it. Yeah, it's gonna be a classic recipe and we're gonna take credit for it even though you got the recipe from our website. So, um, we're gonna go to the website that I found it on which is Once Upon a Chef. Shout out! That's a cute name. Shout out! It was like once upon a time. By the way, I want to prove in this video that not all thick people are dumb. A lot of people will say that we're dumb. Really? We just only care about beauty, but that's not true. And why am I sweating right now? Do, am I going through mud Are you maybe sweating? You are. I'm not. Oh. But you are thicker than me, so like maybe like there's more sweat. Like if if you if my ass might be looking pretty, but it's sweaty up in there right now. <laughs> Swamp. Fitness. So first of all, we need um, a spring foam pan, which this mm. is a spring foam pan. I know a bunch of you guys didn't know what that was, but this is what that is. Yeah, so you have to get one of those, so it does like, require an investment to do this recipe. <laughs> and then, um, step one, preheat oven to 375. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah, 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 that'll be your chore. And then wrap the spring foam pan in one large peach of piece of heavy duty aluminum foil. So we just wrap this in aluminum foil, mm. but what's the point of that? Um, less dishes, right? Because if it's aluminum foil, you don't have to do the dishes. But why do you need to wrap the outside in aluminum foil? Oh, the outside? Yeah. yeah is, is this <laughs> part of the big, this is literally big aluminum foil corporations trying to, because there's no point, but I'll do it. Oh, yeah, let's do it. How do you do that, though? It just says, I think it is. And then what? And then what? Or like, okay. this way. Okay, and then you fold it. Can we not do this stuff? We're already doing it, I guess. Pull. There you go. Okay. So you wrap this with some aluminum foil. Like what do you mm -hmm. What like food made you thick? I honestly think mine is cheesecake. Oh. And as I said, I did get soju, but I um, load it up on cheesecake because they take the fat from your stomach. And Mine was probably mini corn dogs, the frozen ones. Yeah, that's probably the, one of the main contributors to this body. So yeah. Mini corn dogs, okay. And then we spray the inside with baking spray, but we're not gonna do that. We could oh. do it right now, might as well get it over. <laughs> she sprayed it all over my phone. Oh, that's fine. Sorry. You can bail me. That's fine. I'm pretty sure this is your old phone. Okay. Um. Now we make the graham cracker crust. Oh. So basically. Oh, this is wet too. I really dig it everywhere. I literally like didn't look at this recipe. So like right now I'm just figuring out how to do it. So we need one and a half graham cracker crumbs. So there's 12 graham crackers, let me smash those. Oh, this sounds so good. Like cheesecake, I gotta say, like, I just love cheesecake. Like when I go to yogurt land, I'm one of those people who gets like the little cheesecake bites. Sometimes cheesecake can be too filling, but you know, you just eat a little at a time. Oh, yeah. Usually no baked cheesecake is better, but we're baking one today. 
I, th- I wanted to go the extra mile, you know? Yeah. I think this bowl is big enough. How many do you eat? 12 graham crackles. One, two, three, four, five, Should we six, crush them in a bag for us? This is nine. Like, do you think we'll be able to crush Oh, a zipper. And then, yeah. Also, I do have, um, I had talking points that I just... Oh, perfect. I'm starting to it. think, like, what are we going to talk about, you know? I know, because we already talk all day about, like, things, and, um, I decided to pick, yeah, so I wanted to pick some, like, video-appropriate things, oh, yeah. stuff that doesn't have to do with politics. Oh, and, yeah, we know a lot of you guys have differing opinions. Yeah, like... We have a lot of, like, liberal fans and a lot of, like, um, very, like, make America great people, so we don't want to make either side mad. I know, so my goal of this video is to... This video is going to prove that we can always be united. Yeah. Like... A bunch of people can watch this video and be satisfied. <laughs> well, that's a satisfying... You know, it's one of those things as humans, like, you always do want to break stuff. I know! And you actually get to do it. This is like, you fully get to break stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to turn it around? No, you, you can just satisfy yourself with that. The fuck? How do you do that? I am done with the Ziploc bags not working. This is my conspiracy. Why do they always break? Do they want you to like get it? Wait. Do they want yeah. you to? Oh no, it's up to again though. Oh. Okay. Everybody seems to keep it all in one place. By the way, this is the crust if anyone was wondering. Because you always need a buttery, juicy crust. Oh yeah, I would say that's the crust is like the most important part of the cheesecake. We should have made a chocolate crust. Oh, that, that would be too much, though. Uh, for me, it wouldn't. Like, I just like plain cheesecake. Because lots of people like blueberry cheesecake, Reese's Pieces cheesecake. Like, I actually enjoy when it's just a plain old, plain Jane cheesecake. I know, like, not going with all this new age stuff that I people know. try to force us into. I know. But I just want to go back to the olden days. Can we all be <laughs> honest that the Cheesecake Factory cheesecakes are gross? No, no, okay. They're and way too rich. And they're so big. And it just, but it is good to have a few bites of one. Yeah, I'm more of like I'm going to share it with people. Oh my god, we're supposed to be thick people and we're saying shit like that, but... And I have like two sides to myself, you know? Yeah. <laughs> How like crump do I have to get this? I think you need it really crunched. I think I'm supposed to use like a roller or something. Right? Oh, that would make it go uh, more... So we're looking, so yeah, we need the graham crackles, and a medium bowl can buy the graham cracker crumbs melted butter. So, how much butter do we need? Um, oh, five, I don't have a roller. Five tablespoons butter. Oh, that's fine. Just pour it in this bowl when you're done. I love how on butter, like, it just tells you the tablespoon. You don't have to actually get that tablespoon. Oh, wait, is this microwave safe? Um, maybe use one of the other ones. Oh, okay. I know I do love, because, like, I, like, hate just, like, having to, like, think about things. You know? Yeah. In case you didn't know this, guys, um, did you know that you can leave butter out all day, every day, and it never gets gotten? Oh, yeah, isn't that like kind of um, like a debate on that? No, but like, that? people do it. I know. Like our sister does. I'm not gonna name which one, because I don't want to embarrass anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put that in the microwave. It's just so much fun cooking. Like. Oh, just so everyone knows, there was a stage in my life where I actually was a baker. It, like, it kind of turned into, like, kids' baking championship, but I'm <laughs> oh, not... Oh, yeah, you used to bake every weekend? Yeah, I don't bake that much anymore, but, you what's know, like it's the most always fun. What's the most complicated thing you've ever baked? Mini cheesecake. Oh, yeah, like in little, little cheesecake. Oh, yeah, I guess I have. Did you have to make, like, this little thing? You put it in, like, a little... Oh, shit. <laughs> That's funny. I think this is done, low-key. Yeah, that's good. So then we have the melted butter that we pull in. Do I mix this with it? Um, yeah. And then we just need, um... I still feel like you could, like, be a Food Network person. Like, would you, like, think that it still is a possibility, probably? I mean, I could see it, but I just don't know if I desire it anymore. But then again, five years ago you did. Who knows what you'll desire in five years? Two tablespoons sugar. Do I start mixing this? Yeah. Two tablespoons sugar. So I texted Lucas before this and he said he had sugar. Oh, yeah, it's in one of those shelves. We just hope for the best. In my giant pantry. Um, 
Okay, I'm on the second level. Where is it on the second level? I'm just take the elevator up to the third floor and you'll see it. But actually, where is it? You don't see it? Maybe no. I'm dumb? Oh, hold it. Then you also need flour? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm rotten. And we also need salt. So you put, you get some sugar and you add two tablespoons. Um, where are the measurements? I'm over there. Okay. Why am I stressed? I know, that's what I love about cooking, is there always is a little bit of a layer of stress, which is fun. I know, I love being stressed. Can we all admit that life would be boring if there was no stress? I know, but there, isn't it a thing, do you think people who cook all the time, they don't feel that anymore? But like, there's just a little layer of stress, but it's this enjoyable stress. Yeah, like, I think you just get used to it, is my guess. Or just like, that's what fuels it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. So now, um, it says one eighth teaspoon of a salt, and I'm not gonna measure that. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of salt in. That's good. I don't believe in salt in this episode. They always add it, cause like, you know that, I, that iconic line of, Sweet and savory go to gobble. Oh, I thought you were gonna say salt, acid, and fat. Isn't that like the keys of cooking? Like oh. every, all cooking involves that. I actually didn't know that. I think I might have made that up, but I think it's true. So then, um, we, we combine that out, and then we press the crumbs into an even layer on the bottom of the prepared pan, bake the crust for 10 minutes. Oh damn, so you're already doing a baking step? Yeah, I guess so. Is it good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, put your hand in there? I know. I think I washed my hands like two hours ago. <laughs> and then put really, then like pound it in, okay? Okay. Just like the doctor did. Even on the sides? It is everything, and then Even in the Even on the sides or just the bottom? Oh no, just the bottom. <laughs> it's just like the doctor did. Uh, they, they pounded the fat in my ass. Oh, I thought you were, I don't know what you were going with that. See, it just, it's really easy to make cheesecake, guys, and this is all you need to get thick. I so, know, I swear people think it's so hard, it isn't that hard. Because sometimes you have to get up. I know, you know, it's like, get up off your fat ass and start cooking. Well, a lot of people don't know they have to get up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, you guys get what's happening. Okay, so is this good, then? Yeah. And then we just bake that in the oven for 10 minutes. Just put that in. I put it on the middle rack. That's what I always do. Let me wash my little hands. Um, uh, you just don't put a timer on. Oh, no, um, it's 3.08, so at 3.18. So the oven's so annoying where it turns off when the timer's done. Okay, wait, why did it beep though? Oh, because it's got them preheating. Oh, that's perfect timing. I know. So the first question is, most intrusive thought in the last 48 hours? Oh, yeah. Isn't this like, on social media, like, I know there's, like, a psychological intrusive thoughts, but then, like, on social media, I feel like it's sort of been rebranded. I mean, it's, like, rebranded as in, like, a funny thought, right? Oh, Like, wait, should, wait. I, should I shave up my eyebrows? Like, that type of thing. I actually didn't, wasn't aware of that. I, well, thought, actually, I, don't, I don't even know. I, I have seen, like, multiple people joke about, like, isn't it funny how when we're driving, we, like, want to swerve off the road? And oh, you always just us? have, like, these thoughts on the side of your mind that, like, I guess they could become intrusive if you, like, are, if you, like, if they keep repeating or something, or what's it? Well, I'm not a psychologist, but I'm just doing like <laughs> therapy thought, session like, later. Like most up stuff thing you thought of in the last forty hours. What do you think? That's a good one. So mine was. I'm actually trying to think. I was smelling uh, my hands because I want to see if I had graham crackers on my fingernails, just so you guys know. Uh, I just don't know. I don't really have a thing. Like I have had the, a casual one on the road of like, it's just funny how like, or like if you're like in a public setting, you think like, what if I screamed right now and like everyone looked at me, you know, like stuff like that. Oh, like I was on a walk and like, I think sometimes like, what if I just like, like instead of passing someone, cause I like walk like a maniac, like what if I like, just like hit them on the shoulder to be annoying? Like what oh, would happen? Yeah. So that's probably my most intrusive that. And then yours is yelling in public? Yeah. Okay. I always have an urge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we need to make the filling. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so um, in a bowl. You same one? Same, same environment? I think we might need like a big bowl though. Oh. Oh wait, like how big? 
Oh, did you ha do you have a mixer thing? Yeah, yeah, I have a mixer Wait, thing. Wait, do we have a bowl? Actually, I don't know if we have a bowl like that. Uh, I'm trying to think. It looks familiar, but... Yeah, we kind of need a big bowl because we're going to be, like, mixing in, like... Yeah, actually, I don't know if we have a mixing bowl. Cream cheese and stuff. I mean, I feel like we could just, like... Should we mix it in a pot? Oh, no. Is this one? I never know we do have one. See, it just proves that um, you can always do something. Should we clean this out or no? Nah. Oh, that smells fine. No, yeah, that, that smells like really good. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we have a bowl, and then in a combine the cream cheese, sugar, and flour. So, yeah, we need four blocks of cream cheese. Oh, this is. That's crazy. Like, I'm not even trying to be a dumbass, but I always did wonder, why is it called cheesecake? You know? There ain't cheddar cheese in here. Well, it's cream cheese. I mean, that is crazy. I know, you always throw really good stuff. So, did you bring mom's mixer things? Yeah. And then I'm going to need to do two cups of sugar. Oh, the way this feels. I know, it's just like Play-Doh, right? Mm-hmm. One. Two. So this is a half cup, so two, four half cups equals two cups, if you guys didn't know that. Oh, what's it again? Two half, four half cups equals two cups. Oh, okay. I'll try to write that down so I remember. That was me, so then people can't call me down. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Got a little cheesecake. And then we need to add flour. Three tablespoons. How many of these little blocks flour. do we add? Um, all of them. We wow. got four of them and we add all four. Damn, we're making a cheesecake for a family. This is a joke. around to my neighbors. I know, you might say, hey, fellas, hey, gals, like... You guys want a yeah, little dessert? Yeah. Then they watch the video and we talk about not washing our hands and stuff. But, but, no, but you can't do that because you know when you say, do you want some of the dessert, they're going to, like, look at your ass. Like, okay. Oh, yeah, it's like, a I'm not talking about that. I'm not nope. talking about that. That costs money. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat some raw cream cheese? <laughs> um, nah. Okay. So then we just have to mix this once we get all the cream cheese in. Oh yeah, H how about like you do like the dirty stuff? Oh yeah. So then like one of us is clean and one of us dirty meal. Oh, so one person can always like handle you know the clean stuff. Wait. The whole thing. <laughs> this is a little tip if you're cooking with someone. Someone does all the dirty stuff, someone does all the non-dirty stuff. It's kind of funny because like, I think I might have forgot the mixer. Oh shit. Oh. Is it in your car? Oh no. Oh shit, <laughs> that's like the main thing. That's okay, we can do a half-assed version with our hands. Okay, let me just... Well, before people... People didn't used to have electricity. Google yeah. how to do it the other way. Do you just use a spoon or what? I think we just have to... It's gonna take way more work, but you just need to, like, do this. I'm gonna use a spoon? Or, like, a spatula? Um, I'm trying to be dumb. Probably, like, both. Not like a spoon. Mm -hmm. Or, like, I feel like you use, like, a spat, Like, a flat thing. Do you want me to actually Google how to do that? Yeah, like... do how do you mix without a mixer? Might as well do it right for the viewers, you know, my neighbors. How to do, how to do mix without mixer? Yeah, how to mix without mixer. How <laughs> to without mixer. Okay, so use your spoon and make quick circles in the bottle, incorporating air into the mix. To if, whip a mixture, use a whisk or a fork. Oh, we can't use a fork, a whisk yet. So basically use a spoon and do quick circles. Or a fork, it said? Um... It's for if you want it whipped, but oh, I think they okay. just want it mixed. So, I actually, I am mad at myself because I forgot it. I literally had it with me. Like, our mom has a mixer and I was going to bring it, but I didn't. You flopped. Yep. That's part of life, though, guys. Flopping. Like, so, I use, like, one of these types of spoons? Oh, no, I think you need, like, a big spoon. Oh, wait, maybe you do just use one of those spoons. Like a silverware spoon. Should I just use this? You could try, yeah. And then, then, like, it's gonna be so much work, so you can't really do it, too. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of work. A lot. This is actually gonna take forever, I think. <laughs> like, actually forever. No. Oh, no. Biggest mystery of life. <sighs> the pyramids? Oh, that, I'm not even kidding. I didn't even think of that, but that is, because, like, no one knows, if, everyone thinks aliens did it. Or also just like, what was in those UFO documents that the government released? You know, like, that's a mystery. Like, what the fuck was that? Oh, also like, what is in the McDonald's chicken nugget? For real. 
I don't oh, want yeah. any anti-McDonald's people telling me what's in a chicken nugget. I just want a non-biased answer. Oh yeah, like is it just the same stuff that's in like frozen chicken nuggets? Yeah, like Tyson. Like I just want to know. Well, you know, how, like even that's even a mystery. Like when you look at any ingredients of anything, there's like a million ingredients, like all those weird like complicated words, you know. So the mystery is like, what even all those ingredients? Oh, I'm gonna break already. How are we gonna do this for real? I don't know. I think it'd be easier using like a silver or something because this is like so breakable. That's what you know? I was thinking. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, get a right. silver. Do you know it's so like flimsy and shit? Yeah, so it's like so difficult. Okay, I'm just gonna actually try getting in here like you're at the gym. It actually is like tiring. God, thick boys work out. Also, would it be easier if I use my hand? I'm just, wait, we should just do that. And then use this farther down the line. Because all we need is to mix it together. Oh my, this is actually easy as fuck. I really didn't even think about that. I swear everyone made up that we needed mixers. I know, because the kitchen aid wanted money. I know, big kitchen. <laughs> So, after this, just to prep ourselves. Right, this is basically what a mixer hand does. You know, they like this type of thing. I know. It just says, and like, for me, I don't know about y'all, but it's fun putting my hands in stuff like this, so I actually enjoy it. This is the easy, like, no one needs a mixer. That's funny. I know. But then Big again, kitchen. like, the, the sugar isn't getting in, Jacob. Is it bad that we use granulated sugar? No, that's what you're supposed to use. Like, it's not really getting in. Maybe it will eventually. Yeah, no, it actually is like slowly. Oh my god, even this is tiring though. It hurts. <laughs> Ew. So what did he say the biggest mystery of life was? On the UFO documents about aliens. Like, what were those things in the sky? Yeah, my my um more deep answer is probably UFOs and like other stuff. But like, then the most easy answer is just like, why are we even on Earth? I know, but like that's almost a mystery, and I think it's a mystery for a reason. I think that'd be yeah. fucked up if we found out. Because then, like, like if we actually like, found what? out the meaning of life, that would suck. Isn't that the whole beauty of it? Like, no one knows why we're here, but you know, be a good person and listen to like pop music. <laughs> I, mean, I think I did it. Hey, I look at mean, that. You literally did. Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> okay, so that? so so then I'll just pull stuff in, and then you'll just mix the rest. Oh, I didn't mix it all. No, like, the, I, I'm... Oh, you're supposed to mix all this together first. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is, is that th this is done right now, so I'm going to take it out. Oh, my God. Oh, There's so much going on, guys. <laughs> with, like, I the love thing, cooking. With the mittens. And, uh, I love cooking. There's always, like, there's always something going on. No. You know, deep conversations, you know? If you weren't cooking with something, you probably wouldn't talk about this type of stuff. No. Like, I want to become more aware. So, like, if I wanted to, like, make cheesecake one afternoon, but I know no one would eat it, what's the solution? Well, well I can make a cheesecake... Well, but, oh, I, I guess it isn't the solution bringing it to your neighbor's house. Or the solution <laughs> is actually just wait till like there's a family gathering. There are like a million people in our family. That's true. Or just have it on your countertop and like if people want to eat it, they eat it, you know? So we have the crumbs and now it said something about toning down the oven, so. I'm going to try a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, I, I actually don't even care. Now we do. Oh my God. It's like 325. It's so good. Okay, now it's reducing the temperature, so now we put in um, vanilla, lemon, lemon juice, and salt. Okay. Okay, so four teaspoons vanilla extract. I'm actually excited to eat this. I know, like, I'm not even joking to be funny, but it's actually foam baking. I know. I don't care what anyone says to me. I don't know, everyone tries to say sure. Five small tablespoons. Oh, is that what it is? The cap is always four tablespoons? Uh, no, it's actually teaspoons. That's like oh, one teaspoon. teaspoon. That's what I meant. Yeah, I honestly just made that up, but... Then we need, um, one teaspoon packed lemon zest from a lem from one lemon. So, oh wait, do you have like a shadow I think thing? so. Oh, this is... So, I'm gonna wash off the lemon because... You know, it runs nasty hands touched it. Monkey pox. Oh yeah, monkey pox is spreading like crazy, guys. We might have it. So, um, it says to put like one tablespoon packed, but I'm just gonna zest the whole thing. Yeah, maybe I like, do a lot, yeah. It sounds good. I, how grandma I makes want these a lemon cookies. Tinge. You know what grandma cookies with those lemon in it? Oh, yeah. So, so what, you got two to zest too? Um, that's for, just to tell you guys, you probably wondered why I got strawberries. I think I showed them. Oh, no, you're gonna actually put lemon on the top? Like no, lemon? we're gonna do a homemade strawberry compote. 
What even is that? Just like the strawberry jam, basically. Oh, damn. We're doing everything. I know. You know, like, all those people say, like, people say, like, wife me up, and then they show, like, Oh, cooking. yeah. But it's like, I don't expi aspire to marriage. It's like having your hand like this. So wipe me up. You like you contaminated the whole thing. <laughs> and looking like this. Wipe me up. <laughs> You're a clown. <laughs> Should I start mixing? Um, let me just add the rest. Is that enough? Um, maybe a little more. It is small. I love this one. I know, it just makes everything fresh. This is a vibe. <laughs> Literally. I love like not talking. What I realize is that if you follow internet language to a T, you literally don't express any of your opinions. Like, like, I, like I would just be saying like, this is a vibe, but it's like, what are you even trying to express to me? I don't get it. I know, like we had a waitress <laughs> and she just kept saying, this is the moment and stuff, but like it literally meant nothing, but it, it's like having a conversation without having a conversation, like you said. Yeah, it's like having a lighthearted, no expression conversation. Yeah, where nothing is actually exchanged between both parties, you know? Then two tablespoons fresh lemon juice. So, I'm just gonna guess, you know? Squeeze it in. Oh, I, actually, I like, love fruit. I can't believe like nature made this. Like, I know. Crazy. I love Mother Nature. Is that enough? Maybe squeeze like more. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I think I need to add one more thing. I think it was salt. That is disgusting. Oh, we literally had no other choice. I know, we are going to use a spoon. Um, and then one fourth salt, which, isn't that out? Oh yeah. One fourth teaspoon salt. I just know this is actually going to be so good. Sorry. That's it? Yeah, and then you mix that. And I'm thankful that you're mixing it, because... <laughs> my hands are really going. So now the next question that I thought of was <laughs> flop era. Like, when was your flop era in life? Oh, that's hard. So, I'm trying to think of my flop era. Mine was probably when I was like 22, I'm guessing. So like, what, like six years ago? Yeah. Or just like a flop era. Like, it was just like, you know what I mean? Just like, just like. Or just a flop, like no growth, just like a little like nothing. Yeah, I'd say um, my flop era thus far has just been like, when I was in like, when I was a junior in high school, because I would just go to school and then like not do anything when I got home. So then it's kind of <laughs> like a flop there in my oh, life. Oh yeah, not much happened. Yeah. So you got, you got that all mixed? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. The no. sad thing is I can't wash my hands until I put it in there because I'm going to have to, you know what I mean? I'd be wasting <gasps> stuff. That's true. So let me add eggs one at a time mixing on low speed, <laughs> which we can't do. <laughs> I can do low speed with my hands though. Wait, we need six eggs. I you have that, right? I think okay. so. So we just add one at a time and then like you'll just mix it in, I guess. Yeah. By the way, that's not a ghost, that's a fridge. Oh yeah, don't worry guys. Oh, I've always wanted to like touch an egg like that. This is fun. Eggs, if you look at them, are disgusting. I just put out them. They don't gross me out because like I just love chickens. And they want us <laughs> they wanted to give it to us, you know? Oh yes. <laughs> It's just cool, like aliens, like if they abducted people, like they're eating our eggs, you know what I mean? Like unfertilized eggs. Oh yeah, and they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like milking humans for their sperm. And it's like, this is so good on top of eggs. <laughs> I don't get how this is supposed to, it's not, it's not supposed to look, well, it looks so yellow. I know, I don't, I think we, that, that, this is when it gets to the point of like, I think we might need it, we might need a mix of I don't guess to me like right One now, this is just a water mess. <laughs> Maybe if you just keep, I'll just keep doing it. Did I add five eggs or is that, is this my six? This I is think, my six. I don't know, I think you might have only added four, but I don't know. Should I add one more? No. Yeah, it's already too juicy. It's probably better to add less than more. Less is always more. <laughs> Little life tip. <laughs> That's what they say. Oh, I think this is also turning yellow because of the lemon. <laughs> I just made that up though, so maybe. Nope. That's not true. Oh, it's looking better, look at this. I'm actually excited to eat this. Oh, damn, I can't feel like my fingers anymore because it's salmonella. Stuff like this, it's like, so like, is, does this make me Christian? I know, like I think this is like my, the portal to Christianity. I know, I think baking leads you to become a Christian. I know, because I keep like, something more than this. <laughs> I just feel like judging people. <laughs> I'm just kidding, not, not all Christians even do that. <laughs> I then, honestly know a lot of Christians who are really nice. 
And I don't even know if I'm Christian. Like, I believe in something higher. <laughs> half a cup of sour cream. So I just add that right now. How is it? It's so what? But how is this even going to hold? Oh. You're disgusting. No, I have to, I have to do this because I feel like some little like powders. So that means I haven't like fully mixed it, you know? Oh, that's true. So we didn't get light sour cream. We got full fat sour cream. And to us, that's a big deal because our mom always gets light sour cream when we were I don't know, but you grew up in a diet household. A diet Mountain Dew, baby New York City. Probably not good for you. I know. But that is iconic. Should I put the whole thing in? <laughs> um, half a cup. You can just guess. Just do half of it. Well, let's actually look. That's okay. half a cup. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, it somehow is. like adding that sour cream, like I get, like it smells better now. It smells like a yogurt now. When I first heard that people are adding sour cream to stuff like this, I was so grossed out. But it's just pretty much Greek yogurt. Yeah, but then I, yeah, like, you know that one hack where like people say, Greek yogurt is sour cream. Oh yeah. And like it kind of is. Making sure we're still on air. Wait, this is, wait, what's it seen this in it? Live with Kelly and Ryan. Literally Who nothing. Is it? Like, I, watch I used to watch that in the morning. But like, isn't it like one of those shows where like, where like... They, they talk don't... way more though. Uh, like they don't need like these dead pauses, you know? Uh, I was like, I thought we were them. I was like, <laughs> no, I'm sorry for bringing it down. <laughs> bringing it down so hard. <laughs> okay, and then after that we just put on top of the crust. Okay, this seems watery. Like look at this, guys. But I think it'll be fine. But am I supposed to be like whipping it to like make it not watery? I think I just whip it a little bit more. Like is this whipping? Look. It is like doing a little circle movements. Oh, is this the point where we do get out the whisk? Oh, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, let's just whisk this shit. Yeah, because now it's actually to the point where it's pretty it easily is... whisked. All right. Fave cooking show. This is more of a question for you because I'm not even trying to be a cool indie person, but I don't really watch cooking shows. Like you used to be inspired by them, you know? One of my favorites is The Kitchen. Because there's multiple people in that show. Wait, it's they all work out cooking. of one kitchen or what? So basically it's on Sunday morning or something and it just is the kitchen and there's four people in the kitchen and they just like say recipes. This is actually really So tough. I think it's still airing, so. Okay, is that, should I just do a little bit more after I rest for a bit? Yeah, I'll have about one more session and then we're done. Like one more set. I don't even know if this is the right way to whisk, but don't judge me. I'm on America's Worst Cooks right now. <laughs> Um, set the unbaked cheesecake in a loud roasting pan, pour boiling water. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. But you say boiling water? I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. I'm, I'm done. Let's try to draw the line. Okay, that's, yeah. That's good to me. So guys, I forgot that this is even a thing, but I know our sister did this. So you get a big pan, and you put water in it, because you, you need a water bath. So... Should With this? That? No, so we put that little cheesecake thing on the pan, and then we put a, pa a baking sheet under it for water. Should we just do it? Oh, and it boils underneath it in the oven? Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Um, so basically there's a baking pan. You put that, I might be spring foam on top of the baking sheet. Is but, that why we're supposed to cover it with aluminum foil? So you actually should cover it all the way. But, okay, but a part of me thinks, I, think, not you, use it. I think you only do the water bath so it doesn't have cracks at the top. Oh, we don't care about that. Beauty doesn't it's, matter. Yeah. It's a I personality. Actually like the, there's like this one tradition, I don't know, I don't even want to guess what it is because it's probably just end up being offensive, but like, there's one offensive, <laughs> there's this one culture <laughs> in the world where they, if they make something perfect, they put a crack in it. For like real? someone makes something perfect and they, they bang it. That actually sounds so annoying though because they want everything to have to be imperfect. I actually like that. But also it's kind of annoying because then that probably start because back in the old days, like someone was so good at art and some of the... You're not allowed to be. Scratch it. <laughs> so basically, we bake the cake. We want bake until the cake is at one hour and thirty minutes to one hour and forty five minutes. The cake should not liquefy at all, but it will wobble a bit. And then cool. That's so easy, guys. Can I set this on your table? I don't see why not. Oh, is oh, it like burning? No, it's actually not that hot. This smells delicious, by the way. Just try to only get it in the middle, I guess. Can you put a little bit more of center? Should I just lift it up? I just don't want to spill on the floor. <gasps> you guys, this looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. Lord. Ooh. But isn't it a thing we're baking where you don't want it to fill up all the way because it overflows? I remember when I baked cake for the first time, I didn't know that like it expands. It expands. Is that happening with this or no? Um. There's I think flour. it should be fine as long as it 
Like we don't, oh, fill it to the brim. Should I stop now? No, I think you could fill it up to that line at least. You see that line? So I think we can put all of it in, but just don't scrape it. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Okay. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, no. Okay. Nah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So now we just put this in the oven for an hour and 30 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes. Holy shit, we got the bulk of it done. I know, this is, it's all done. Do you remember <gasps> the jam closer to it being done? No, we should make that right now, actually. I forgot about that. So it won't overflow? I guess we just check on it. Yeah, right? we actually put a pan underneath it, though. That's true. To make on the it... bottom rack. Yeah, because what if it did break open? It's very stressful right now. I know. I'm sure you guys can feel the stress, and I'm sorry. Okay. Should I take out the aluminum foil? I just leave it. Okay, so it's 3.30 right now, so it should be done by 5. This really does take the whole afternoon, though. I know. I'm drinking lemon juice. Oh yeah, we utilize some of the lemons. It's really good for you. So while that's getting prepared, since we're so proactive, we're gonna make the strawberry compote. Wash off the berries. Get a little pesticides and GMOs off. Yep. Wait, should we have both cut them up? Oh, might as well, take time. It's true. I always forget that that's the top side of the milk. Okay. So well, I'm too one. scared to use that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's so what I do. It just cut up the, cut up the top. So Even just, though, usually I usually eat the top. This is just like to, when we're done with the cheesecake, you put this on top of it, right? Yeah, just like for some flavor, because sometimes just plain cheesecake can be a little bit boring. I do. Well, because usually people get this from the store, but I decided, wait, why not just like full on be homemade and like make it at home, you know? I know, it's like other bitches get the canned version. Could never be us. But it's like, no, I'm more of like a prairie girl, you know? Yeah, we live off the land. Cottage. We're actually connected to where our food comes from. Unlike some of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like, can't do anything good without bringing others down. I know. It's such a vibe, you know? I know. Again, like, that. what I said doesn't even communicate anything. But I still said it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Let me eat them. <laughs> Please let me eat them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nature's candy. Mm-hmm. Guys, sugar is so bad for you, so eat more fruits and vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't you have to admit, like, strawberries have the cutest little aesthetic. <laughs> I know, like, you you know whoever invented these on the awards down, and, and I was like, like, Hello Kitty vibes. Yeah, like, I just put your, who's someone on Instagram with this aesthetic? Like, like, kind of plan to invent these. I'm mean, thinking more like, maybe not Marina him. Joyce. <gasps> Marina Joyce invented these. Look at the cute people, you know? Little tumble people. Mm-hmm. Cute like little creatures. Okay. Mm. These are addicting. This just makes me think of why don't I eat this type of stuff more? <laughs> just cause. Mm -hmm. Why do I always turn to Snickers? And Reese's, you know? Do you wanna know why? Because America brainwashed you. Are these in season right now? What? Are these in season right now? All right, it must be. God damn, they taste good. These don't make you thick, thick, but they're obviously a summer exceptions. Yeah, they help you like spiritually be thick. Yeah. You have the whole entire bag or what? Yeah, they said a pound. I think this is probably a pound. Oh, we're already done cutting them up. Yeah. Oh my god. So then we just put it in this bowl. I've never done this, but I'm excited to try it. You have to like spray it. Uh, no, because we're gonna be like a lemon zest in here too. Mm -hmm. so. We're just asking. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Is it on? Yep. Can you see my full body? No, because I, I can stand farther back. Oh, just like show them a little bit. Alright, you can have it now. Okay, so now we need three tablespoons of sugar. Now. I'm not trying to eat less sugar, as you can tell, because I made a whole cheesecake, but I'm only gonna have one and a half because the cheese, the 
the cheesecake's already so sugary. And like the strawberries are already so sugary. Like we don't want it to be like Laffy Taffy. I know, I'm not trying to be little kid out of Waterpop, you know? I know, it's like this is adult cheesecake. So then you cut open a lemon. Oh, full skip to zest it. <sighs> Always forget. So we have to wash this lemon, but I cut it, but that's fine. So we get, <clears throat> so we get the zest straw, zest it into here. They, they start an amount, but that's fine. We don't need to follow the rules. Yeah, that's the thing with these recipes, you guys. Always remember, you can always improvise. Don't have to follow the little Betty Boop recipe to a, a T. But a lot of people don't know that. Oh, you can add your own little flavor, you know? What do you want to add? Because sometimes what you like is what not what other people like, but you just need to do it. You know, you know those people making this recipe saying, wait, it doesn't have enough butter. It's like, you can add more butter, Sally. You can do whatever you want. Oh, you should... Flip over the next question that the audience mumbles asked. Oh. Okay, fave cooking show. We already did that. Let's see. Chris Jenner, guy, what the hell is oh, this? Guy who owns Two Faced and then owner of Bun and Jerry's. What about it? Um, it was supposed to be like F Mary Kill, but that's like too mean. So it's more of like beef friends with. F Mary Kill. Yeah, F Mary Kill. So, you know who I'm talking about when I say guy who owned Two Faced? Oh, yeah, the blonde guy. The lip injections yeah, and stuff? Yeah, the lip boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who owned Ben and Jerry's, but I have a vibe in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would marry Ben and Jerry's, kill Two Faced because he just has the vibe of he's being mean. I don't know if, I don't know anything about him, but either he has the vibe of a bully. I got what you're saying. But, like, I don't know anything about him. He could be the nicest man ever. Chris Jenner? Bang. Yeah, mine would be, um,. I'm not gonna marry Kris Jenner because I don't know. It sounds like too weird being part of the Kardashians. I know, like they're like, like toxic, low key. Yeah, like um, I like I watch the show and stuff, but it kind of oh, I feel like I turn into a different person and it's kind of scary to me. Yeah. So yeah, um, I would bang Kris Jenner too because that's just cool. And the guy from Two Face, um, yeah, I mean, but the people from Bunny Jerry's, I would. Uh -huh. But the guy with two face, like, I, it'd be cool to hang out with you and have lunch or something. So oh, yeah, up. prove us wrong. I know. We're just intimidated by you. I'm sure a lot of people are. <laughs> okay, that's enough. And then it says some lemon, so I'm just gonna add some. Lemon is just so good, guys. It's a vibe. Mm -hmm. And I got the seeds in, so I'm gonna grab those out. Because my kids hate seeds. I know. It's all green. Okay. So grab this out. Yeah, we're digging. Okay, looking good, guys. Now, for the next 15, 10 to 15 minutes, put it on medium to high heat. Okay, so right there. And then just store it. Um, let's see if there's any more questions that they wanted to ask. It's blank. And my mind is also blank. So I guess you have to stop recording until this is done. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, only so my face, like, I already took the butt pads off. You don't even have the wig on. So, Wait, you're gonna go on the internet and show your real hair? I guess so. I'm bald. But, you, but um... Yeah, we cooked this, and this is the coolest thing ever. Like, it just became thick. <laughs> it actually looks so good. And now we Oh, it became thick. I get what you meant. Ah. And you put it into a little mason jar. Oh, it looks like marinara sauce. Oh, a prank? I pranked my brother with that strawberry jam with marinara sauce. Oh, yeah, put it all over noodles. Wait, are you going crazy? Do you eat marinara? <laughs> you know? Make people think they're going crazy. Oh, uh, that's like what all pranks actually come down to, isn't it? Make people think they're crazy? Gaslight someone into, like, being psychotic. Yeah. That, okay, this is one whole thing of strawberries. It only made that much. So if you wanted to fill this up, you need like five whole things. Oh, yeah. So I'm just gonna like cool off now. Y'all good? Yeah, you can stop. We don't need any cool off. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, get the lights back up. <laughs> Thick boys back on air. <laughs> okay, so it's been an hour and 33 minutes. And just look at this. Oh. Let's butter. Cracks. Comment below. Oh yeah, that cake or that cake? 
Okay, poll. let's pull this out. There'll be a poll in the LinkedIn description. Oh yeah, it'll be on my LinkedIn. <laughs> okay, let's pull this out. <laughs> oh wait, I can't see all. <laughs> no, um, the website, oh, the recipe I was oh. following said just take it out when you, um, it doesn't look wet anymore and it looks baked. It doesn't look wet at all, to be honest. And the recipe also said that to, um, to wait eight hours to eat it, let it chill, do a waddle bath. But wait, did it say put it in the fridge? Um, I think it says let it chill, then put it in a waddle bath, and Wait, then let shut it up, a water bath? Yeah, I'm not gonna do any of that. So, we're just gonna let it chill, um, and then once it cools down a little bit, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Yep. Is that it for the update then? Yeah, now we just have to wait for the, um, it to be done. And <sighs> there was one more question I forgot to answer, it was... Meaning of Uptown Girl, but the meaning is just, it's this poor guy dating a rich girl and he doesn't know how to please her, but he also does know how to please her and he, he kind of hates on her because he says like, you've been living in your Uptown world. Like, I guess they're just opposite people. But, but do, you know what, each other. do you know what the modern day version of that song is? What? Roxanne by Arizona Zervas. Oh, it she is. She's in Malibu when she's so rich, blah, blah, blah. Exact same concept. But yeah, um, all of our hard work this afternoon is finally going to a payoff. <laughs> Next time you watch us, we might be eating it and like getting it already. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three hours later. I ate some dinner to get even more thick, but now it's time to eat our lovely <laughs> cheesecake that Dessert. we baked this afternoon. Dessert time. Yep. You guys, it's a beauty. Look at that. And I'm pretty sure we can even take up the sides without <laughs> it cracking. Oh, is that usually what happens? Yeah, so that that's what the goal should be, but it but should we just hope that? for the best. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh! Wait, first time I've ever made a cheesecake and like these bitches try forever <laughs> and don't get it. This you know is I mean? really perfect! Oh, I can the funny thing is, from smelling it I can tell it's too rich. And it's a thick cheesecake, like really thick. It smells like low as cheese. It smells like, um, Nilla wafers to me. I'm excited to try it though. So of course we have to try the delicious cheesecake with our homemade thick strawberry compote. It smells good actually. A little jam. Making a... I actually am meant to be a cottage girl. I know. Like, a cottage person. One time I saw someone on TikTok and they had like so many mason jars in their pantry of pickled meats and stuff. Isn't this good for the end of the world too? Uh huh. Because the world is going to end pretty soon. I think. Like within like a few months. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So. Um, should we share a piece? Yeah, that's what I was thinking because I you know, know we are the thick boys, but I did have. A chicken sandwich and chicken tendos for dinner, so I am not that hungry. And as my great grandma said, a lady never gets her own slice. Yup. Just exactly. Kidding. You never should. <laughs> okay, so let's just. Wait, should I show you this up close? Yeah, yeah, you should. Don't worry, guys. I got you covered. Okay. Just look at this delicacy. This actually feels kind of lighter than other cheesecakes, but at the same time, we didn't let it sit out of the way. Okay. Why? Right? I feel so proud of us, you know? Oh my, oh my <gasps> god. And look how clean that is. That proves Wait. it's so clean. And all these bitches try. I know. Mmm, <laughs> cheesecake, cheesecake. Good. I'm actually gonna have everyone in the family try and brag so hard. Oh yeah, I'm excited for them to all try it. What do you, what do we use to put this on? Just pork, I guess. Yeah. Should we just put, uh, put like half of it on? Or is that good? Yeah, that, yeah, that's good. I like how we made our own homemade strawberry compote because it feels like so thick and like just mm -hmm. butter. No high corn fructose syrup. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just grind it. Uh, what was happening? I think I was having a seizure. <laughs> you have to try it at the exact same time. I need to put a little bit of strawberries on mine. Okay. Okay, ready, um, set, go. go. It's so warm. <laughs> How is it warm if it's in the fridge that long? 
It's good though. And actually like, I don't know how I thought it was gonna taste so thick. Like it actually is the perfect like texture. It's pretty light for a cheesecake. <laughs> it kind of actually is. Wait, this is actually good. Like, it's not really, I never had lemon cheesecake either. Cause we put so much lemon in this, you know? I <laughs> know like too much. Oh my God. I like how it kind of tastes like pudding. It does. It's actually so good. I do think we put it in the we put it in the oven just a tad too long. You know what I mean? Lucas mentioned earlier that the sides of this cheesecake are a little bit bomb. So mm -hmm. you know, kind of messed up there. Yeah, it just tastes like a lemon bar. Yeah, this isn't um, New York original cheesecake. This is lemon cheesecake. Midwest. But. I want to go so deep in, like. Would you recommend them to make it? That's what I'm getting to. Like, I don't even know if I'd recommend <laughs> it because, like, I don't even like it that much. But then again, as I kind of said, oh, yo. <laughs> I like ice cream and, like, other shit better than... Cheesecake. Imagine this with a scoop of vanilla ice cream next to it. That'd be so good. Yeah, I think my recommendation is if you've been following along, just don't put as much lemon as us in it. Yeah. Because it does turn it into, it's not a cheesecake anymore. Now it's just a lemon bar. Yeah. But I did just say the texture, the thickness is actually perfect for me. If it was any more thick, it would gross me the F out. It's actually like really good though. And I personally love like the lemon. Perfect for summer too. Like this one, it match bring into like Thanksgiving or Christmas. Like this is a midsummer delicacy. You know what I mean? Midsummer is all about changes, progress, and this is what is that, this is what that lady. But can you imagine eating this in winter? It actually wouldn't fit. You guys know what to do. Dang it! The thick boys did it again. Make this for your hubby or your little wife. Send us a picture. And let us know how it turns out. Yeah. Did you get some good stuff after it because it was so good? <laughs> okay, let me have one more bite before we go. <laughs> this would be a good thing to bring to like your first Tinder date. Bring it in a little Tupperware. Mm, Make yeah. it <laughs> Make it creepy. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, um, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. And us thick boys are just gonna continue being thick. That's how my plans are for the rest of the day and for the rest of the week, in fact. Bye. Bye.